Scotland is rising and England is sinking. I'm not speaking metaphorically, I am speaking literally, which is why I'm here at the Thames Barrier. This gorgeous thing behind me is one of the largest mobile flood barriers in the world. And it's what stops the Docklands over there behind me from being completely inundated when there's a storm surge or a spring tide. And here's the thing, when I say Scotland is rising, I don't mean it metaphorically. I'm not talking about the referendum, I'm talking literally. Scotland is rising up by about 10 centimetres every century. And down here in the south of England, the area that the Thames Barrier is protecting, well, that's dropping by about five centimetres every century. It's not much, particularly compared to the sea level rises that the Thames Barrier is going to protect us against in the next few decades, but it's still there. It's a process called glacial isostatic adjustment. The idea that 20,000 years ago, Scotland was covered in glaciers and England wasn't. I mean, it wasn't that precise. It's not like they stopped at what would be Hadrian's Wall, but that was roughly the area. That pressure from the ice squeezed the mantle out of the way, and even now, 20 millennia later, it's still flowing slowly backwards, moving Scotland upwards, and us slowly down into the sea. Scotland is steadily gaining height, England is steadily losing it. And to be honest, the United Kingdom might be about to lose a heck of a lot more, depending on how the referendum turns out in a couple of days' time. One more thing before I go. Regular subscribers will know I sometimes try out different formats here, and well, I've got a new one for you. Starting this Wednesday, four episodes of Crush Test, a gadget review show where if you like it, you get to keep it, and if you don't, you get to violently destroy it. As well as that, the Technical Difficulties team are getting together for new episodes of Citation Needed. We're recording this weekend, and we should have those for you pretty soon. And if neither of those are your thing, don't worry. There are plenty of things you might not know still to come.